Hi, I'm Dr. Len Faber and I'm going to demonstrate the bite recording techniques and the impression techniques for the Somnomed Mandibular Advancement Splint. The device that I prefer to use for accurate and reproducible protrusive uh, recording of the mandible is called the George Gauge. We're about to take a protrusive record of Simon's uh, mandible and whenever we're going to take protrusive records of patients or specialised impressions in order to make the Somnomet appliance, it's very important to pre-train the patient in what we expect of them during the record or impression taking so that we have an accurate result. I'm going to take a minute now to explain to Simon how I want him to move his jaws. The features that we need to look at are the, that when we're using the George gauge, that the midline of the George gauge has a, has, a, has a mark on it, and that should be congruent with the skeletal midline. The dental midline does not necessarily have to be in line with the skeletal. In Simon's case, we're lucky we've got dental and skeletal midline that are congruent. So let's try some pre-training now. Simon, I'd like you to bite together as you normally bite. Just tap together a couple of times, get a feel of that. Okay, stop. Now slide your, jaw, your lower jaw forward, keep going as far as you can go, stop. A lot of patients when they protrude their mandible have a tendency for some deviation to one of either the left or the right side and in Simon's case there's a slight deviation to the right side. Now just go back for me, back to your normal bite, tap together. Now close. Now what I want you to do is just very slowly move forward until I say stop. Keep going, keep going, stop. Keep going a little bit more, stop. So we've achieved some forward movement of the mandible with no deviation. Now, Simon, could you please tap your teeth together and just get a feel of how the teeth touch at that position. So when I put the George gauge in, we'll be working at around a position that's similar to that, but not the very far forward position. So go back to your normal bike now.